Russia loses naval center in Crimea, storm shadow, ATA CMS missiles create big problems for occupants. The Russian Black Sea Fleet has been forced to relocate almost all of its operational ships from occupied Crimea to other locations, rendering its main naval center ineffective due to attacks from Kyiv, the commander of the Ukrainian Navy, Vice Admiral Oleksiy Nizpapa, stated. Nizpapa said that Ukrainian missile and drone strikes have severely damaged the base in Sevastopol, which serves as a logistic center for repairs, maintenance, training and ammunition storage, among other essential functions for Russia. They were established over many decades, possibly centuries, and clearly they are now losing this hub. Nizpapa said in an interview in Odessa on Sunday, the eve of Ukrainian Navy Day. Ukraine, which does not have large military ships at its disposal, has used explosive-laden unmanned military boats to attack Russian vessels and has struck fleet facilities and other military targets in Crimea using Storm Shadow and ATA CMS missiles. Almost all the main combat-ready ships have been moved by the enemy from the main base of the Black Sea Fleet and the ships are kept in Novorossiysk and some of them are kept in the Sea of Azov, he said. According to him, the Russian naval base in Novorossiysk on the eastern coast of the Black Sea does not have facilities like those in Sevastopol, Crimea, which served as a storage and loading site for cruise missiles used by military ships for airstrikes on Ukraine. I understand that they are now trying to solve this problem in Novorossiysk, he said, calling it a main issue for the fleet. Nice Papa reported that Ukraine has destroyed or damaged 27 military boats, including five that were lost due to mines laid by Ukrainian naval drones near Sevastopol Bay. As a sign of strengthening defensive positions, he said, some Russian military ships, which rarely entered the Sea of Azov east of Crimea, are now there regularly. According to him, the Black Sea Fleet is currently mainly used for logistics, control over a small part of the coastal area, and launching caliber cruise missiles at Ukraine. Previously, British intelligence reported that after a series of significant losses of Russian ships in the Black Sea, new commanders of the Black Sea Fleet and the Russian Navy were appointed. The Russian military is now looking for ways to maintain the fleet in the Black Sea. Ship operations are limited, but drone defenses have been strengthened. According to British intelligence, the House of Camouflage methods for Russian warships in the Black Sea is unlikely to lead to the desired results and will not reduce fleet losses. Islamic terrorist group Hezbollah launched over 200 rockets and 20 drones towards northern Israel on Thursday, July 4. This action was in response to an Israeli Defense Forces strike in Lebanon the day before, which resulted in the death of one of Hezbollah's senior commanders, according to the Times of Israel. As reported, sirens sounded in communities in northern Israel, July 4, as Hezbollah launched a major attack. It was one of the largest in the nine-month conflict. Hezbollah fired 200 rockets and 20 drones towards the Golan Heights. One Israeli Defense Forces soldier was killed in the attack, and two others were injured. The Israeli army stated that some of the rockets were intercepted by the Iron Dome, and most of the drones were intercepted by fighter jets and ground-based air defense systems. The attacks caused fires, including one reported at a shopping center in Acre near Haifa, caused by debris from intercepted drones. In response to the attack, Israeli fighters struck several Hezbollah rocket launchers in southern Lebanon and additional targets in the cities of Ramya and Hula. On July 3, the Israeli army launched a strike on southern Lebanon, targeting and eliminating one of the senior commanders of the Islamic terrorist group Hezbollah, Mohammed Nasser. Sources in Lebanon reported that he was responsible for part of Hezbollah's operations on the border. Nasser held a position of similar rank and significance to Talib Abdullah, a senior commander who was killed in an Israeli strike in June. In a statement, the Israeli military indicated that Nasser and Abdullah were two of the most significant Hezbollah terrorists in southern Lebanon.